Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we're going to go over our attributes class. So let's open up Unity, Model Development, and let's just get right into it. Now I know this little series that we're doing where we're just going through and commenting things and changing the odd little thing here and there, it, it's pretty boring, but it's something that we should do. And it shouldn't take that long. So again, We'll want to name the class, or in the comments, say what the class is. So attribute.cs. Uh, the name of the person doing it. I usually put the date above that. So it's September 6th here. And then a description. So it's the attribute class. So this is the class for all of the character attributes in game. This is probably the only new line I've added to this class. And if you notice in our old base class, we had almost the exact same line right here. So we, it's a public constant integer starting experience cost equals 100. It's the exact same thing here, except there's a new word in front of it. Now this is how you would override an old constant that you had set. And what this new word means is that you're just setting a new value for it. Then of course we also use that new value down here. And when we go through our character settings, when we're loading and saving, I guess more importantly loading, you notice we're calling it right here. So it's going to use this value here. Again, if you have different starting costs for your attributes, you'll want to make this a variable. So let's just comment that. This is the starting cost for all of my, all of our attributes. And again, it just makes things a lot easier to manage. Like I can use this variable anywhere in my code and if I ever decide to change it, I've only got one place I have to change it in. So we'll name this. So let's comment this. This is the name of the attribute. Okay, and here's our default constructor. And for the default constructors, I generally just leave it like that. Now the name, get or set the name. And the value is name. And that's it there, there's nothing special there. Now our enumeration is just basically a list of all the attributes that we want our character or characters in game to have. This also includes our mobs, our NPCs. The way we're doing it, we're gonna be using it for NPCs as well. Uh, NPCs generally don't need this or are need attributes, especially if they're just something like a shop owner or something that just stand there. But maybe you're gonna have I don't know, guards at a gate or something like that, that where if a mob gets too close to the gate, they'll attack, then they'll probably wanna have stats. Since I really didn't plan anything out at the beginning, I just decided to make pretty much everyone the exact same, a little bit difference between them. As we start expanding off the base class, like our player class, our mob class, NPC class. But the basic idea is we're just going to create a list of all the attributes that we want in game. Now enumerations really are just a big list of numbers. And we put these little fancy labels on the numbers so that we can access them a little bit easier. And if you don't put any numbers at all, it's the equivalent of saying might equals zero, constitution equals one, 
and so on. You just keep going down. So nimbleness would be two, speed three, concentration four. But you can actually change the order if you want. You, sorry with that email. You can actually have you know like might equals ten, constitution equals one, you know nimbleness equals one hundred. And if you have any after the last one that you've actually assigned a value to, it'll just continue from there. So speed in this instance would be 101 and concentration would be 102. Uh, since that really doesn't matter to me what number they're actually holding, because I just want a list, I just leave it like that. Now, of course, you could also change the order that you want the list in. So maybe you want constitution before might. And the way we have it set up, it will affect the way it displays in game and also will affect the index of where it displays in your character, I believe it's under base class. Yeah, for your attributes array. So it's gonna affect where it shows up in there. So if you do end up changing this after you've created characters, you're gonna to wanna to delete your old characters, your, your P files and create new ones. So that's one of the downfalls of doing it this way is it, you can't change the order of them. But say if you just want it to display differently in game, maybe the different order you want it to display alphabetically, you could actually take this array under base character, your attributes array, and since we've added a name to it, you could actually just sort them by name and have it displayed alphabetically that way. Now this actually is the order I want to display them, and I'm pretty sure this is probably all the attributes I'm ever going to want in game. So it, it's fine for me. But let's just add the comment. Uh, this is a list of all the attributes that we will have in game, well, in game for our characters. And that's pretty much it for the attribute class. I'll see you in the next one. We'll probably go over modified stat it's next to my tab, so might as well do that next. And it looks like it's a little more complex, so it should be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I'll see you then.